Today, in this video I'm going to talk about Canada Immigration New Update. In this video I'm going to talk about Canada says international students still need 14-day quarantine plan. If you are interested in this topic, please watch till the end of this video for latest immigration updates and news. Please like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell icon, let's get into the video. Canada Immigration News, international students landing in Canada will still need to have 14-day quarantine plans, but will no longer need to stay three nights in a government-designated quarantine hotel after August 9. The Government of Canada recognizes the tremendous social, cultural and economic benefits that international students bring to Canada and acknowledges that there are benefits for students who choose to study in Canada beyond earning a degree or diploma, noted Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC, in a statement released Monday. That is why, throughout the pandemic, IRCC has striven to accommodate international students by introducing a variety of temporary policy changes, including measures put in place to benefit international students studying online from abroad. When Ottawa announced on Monday the reopening of its border in three weeks' time, it also announced the removal of several of the public health restrictions, but they don't take effect immediately, only on August 9. Until then, unvaccinated travelers flying to Canada must complete their three-night hotel stay while they wait for their on-arrival COVID-19 results. Unvaccinated travelers still need COVID-19 test on arrival after August 9. Even after the new rules come into effect on August 9, Unvaccinated travelers will still be subject to Canada's mandatory on-arrival COVID-19 test requirement and follow-up test eight days later. In the flurry of activity and rule changes, Ottawa wants to ensure international students do not forget that they will still have to present a 14-day quarantine plan upon arrival. Information about the quarantine plan must be submitted in arrive can prior to travel to Canada. Ottawa will be implementing a randomized testing regime for fully vaccinated travelers who qualify for entry to Canada at select airports and land border crossings across Canada. An international student must have a 14-day quarantine plan in case it is determined at the border that they do not meet all of the conditions required to be exempt from quarantine, the IRCC stated Monday. This is still the case even if they believe they meet the criteria for being considered a fully vaccinated traveler. Under the Canadian government's guidelines fully vaccinated means the traveler has received the full series of a COVID-19 vaccine or combination of vaccines accepted by the Government of Canada, at least 14 days prior to entering Canada. Currently, those vaccines are manufactured by Pfizer-BioNTech, Moderna, AstraZeneca-Covishield, and Janssen, Johnson & Johnson. Travelers must also provide proof of vaccination in English or French or a certified translation of their document. Ottawa, which has suspended flights from India until August 21, is also advising students to check if restrictions are in place for their country which might affect their ability to travel. Vaccinated International Students to Benefit from Relaxed Protocols Fully vaccinated international students were among the first to be able to come to Canada without having to stay in quarantine for two weeks once they tested negative for COVID-19. Under measures that took effect July 5, the first tentative steps to reopening Canada allowed some fully vaccinated travelers entering Canada to bypass the federal requirement to quarantine or take a COVID-19 test on the eighth day. Those fully vaccinated travelers arriving by air also no longer needed to stay at government-authorized hotels. The relaxation of travel curbs in early July covered citizens and permanent residents, plus those covered by existing exemptions, provided they had a negative test. This is the first phase of our precautionary approach to easing Canada's border measures. At this time, Indigenous partners and American authorities on moving forward toward reopening in a way that is safe for both countries. Hopefully the details and information as presented in this video is helpful. Canada Immigration News Channel will be releasing a new video when new information is available on any of these updates or requirements. If you have not subscribed, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click on that notifications bell icon. See you sooner in next new immigration video.